Always on the racks. Right never close to me. Hello everyone, this is Misha Lutz and I am back, possibly temporarily, maybe permanently, I don't know, my life has changed a lot these last couple of months, a lot, or last probably 6-7 months, and I would like to be back permanently, but who knows, things don't always go the way that we plan, and so... I am here for this video so let's get to it here you can see me doing some digital art I never really I've never done any digital art before I got my iPad which I got a few months ago I think it was actually a really good investment and I'm using an Apple pencil with it and I'm actually working on some cover art for my brother his project is the live show which came out a few months ago, or a few weeks ago um, it's an EP. His name is Young Mac. It's available on Apple Music, iTunes, etc., etc. You know, go out and stream, or at least give it a listen, try it out. I, I really enjoyed the EP. It's about five songs, and that's what's playing in the background. Um, so, I'll definitely say that with trying a new media, there's always a learning curve. Medium a new medium <laughs> there's always a learning curve and so you know that that's what happened here as well but i think it's cool that they tried to make it as similar to pencil and paper as possible like it's it's a very a very interesting um product i guess it's a very interesting product i've never tried anything like it but again never tried digital art so maybe this is just like every other product and i overpaid or something but i'm happy with my purchase moving on some changes in my life have occurred had a baby a few months ago if y'all remember i told you probably in my last video video before the last video was actually a trash video just to throw away and i had other videos actually I wasn't allowed to I wasn't able to edit them they're like stuck on my old big MacBook Pro that makes a lot of noise and moves extremely slowly so I guess yeah those are probably never gonna see the light of day which sucks but but yeah you know whatever so moving on not only did i have a baby i just graduated from college i'm an older student i'm traditional but i'm very proud of myself i just finished my undergraduate degree and yeah i'm degreed up i got my baby my husband my child and i'm gonna be starting a new job and i did an internship last semester i feel like i'm applying for a position but i'm just kind of letting all 12 of you that are subscribed to me know what's been up um it's been a lot and it's been not nothing it's just it's it's been a lot but now that it's over it's kind of like wow that was it <laughs> like i don't know <laughs> if you know what i mean then we hear with it but if not then you know whatever but basically i it was just it was a lot taking care of a child doing an internship um doing school as well because you know the internship was just one part of school and then on top of all of that i wanted to not only do my artwork but record myself doing that i actually did almost no art in the time from february to um may well probably april did almost no artwork but again i'm happy to have the ipad because it actually made everything a lot easier for me to do i was actually able to start getting more artwork done and stop being so like nervous and stressed about having to set up because you know having a child you you don't really have that extra minute that it takes to Put the paper down get your pencils get all your supplies set up the camera all of that like you you really like it's you really don't have that moment <laughs> you have to get it in where you can even right now my baby is taking a nap but you know she's also a little bit older but she's taking a nap right now so you know i have a minute to do this do the voiceover the drawing it's 
Uh, to tell you more about it, this is a drawing of my brother. So not only is this my first attempt at digital art, this is really one of the first times that I did a portrait, which, you know, I do a lot, mostly portraits, but I did this portrait without any kind of reference. So it's, you might see that I did the, the face a few different times. The hair, I think I might have gone over a couple times as well, and then I'm not ex I'm not great at bodies. I wanted him to be like really, like tall, like the 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 character to be tall and thin. Didn't really reach that, but I'm I'm satisfied with it. It's definitely got a big head, which was kind of the goal. So, you know, I don't mind it too much, but I I. I wouldn't say that I struggled with this. It was a low pressure thing. My baby was sleeping and I was like, let me try learning how to use my iPad. And so a lot of the time that it took me to do this, which just probably took a couple hours, I don't remember. And the video that saved from Procreate, that's yeah, Procreate, it was only like a minute and 30 seconds. So I have no clue how long this took me, but I know it wasn't short. Um, but yeah, I, I just, I, I had fun with it and I just try to, you know, just try to make my vision come to life on paper, well, on the iPad because I feel like I have a lot of trouble on paper if I don't have a reference, but oddly enough on here it was fine and I, I'll have to say that that's probably because on the iPad it's easier to... I guess you, you're able to go back over things so you can change like you can work in layers and you can change the color you can erase more efficiently because you know if you press too hard on pen and on um pencil with pen, pen uh, wow with pencil and paper then that's kind of it for the paper like you can't really erase it off whereas here it doesn't matter how hard i pressed and i realized that i actually do press pretty hard when i'm drawing I was able to erase, you know, because who's going to tell me not to? Not Apple. So I was able to erase and I feel that this piece came out a lot closer to what I was looking for. Um, so this is my second piece of cover art. Definitely a lot better than the other one that I did of Megan Thee Stallion and my goal in this was actually to create this and then work towards kind of animating it and so I am still working on that um, I did animate it a little bit I didn't animate any of the characters I just kind of animated uh, the colors sort of hard to describe you'll see it in the future it's really not that important um, but yeah it, it was it's fun and to be honest it's fun it's fun to have a medium where your doodles could become a finished piece because well some people's doodles can become finished pieces on pencil and paper I'm not one of those people my doodles are done very dark and very inaccurate and so they start off and as one thing which is very rough and then they turn into something of like a reference piece which you know I don't I didn't mind it too much but it, it definitely took a lot longer whereas this you know you start off with something as a joke and then you're able to just you know you can work towards it being finished or you can duplicate it and have the the doodle forever and also work on it until it becomes a finished piece um but yeah i i really like this medium and now i've definitely i would like to say that i will be back more often as i said earlier but I can't. I'm not sure. I know that this is this is some this is what I want. Like I would love to do this. I actually got a supportive a very supportive comment from someone on one of my other videos saying that they love my work and that I should continue to do this more 
and I really want to and that person that left that comment it really meant a lot to me when I saw it I think they left it or at least I saw it in April because I remember they left that comment or April or end of May they left that comment and I was going on spring break and I was not going on spring break but spring break was starting because you know obviously I stayed home I didn't do anything but I was just like okay maybe I should make another video or try to make a series of videos and I stopped myself because I was like my goal in this has never been to just pump out content for the sake of pumping out content I really want to do this because I enjoy it and because I want to show something that I'm proud of and I felt that if I had done that in those moments I would be making work that I did not feel I did not feel very proud of and so I didn't I decided to wait until I knew that I was ready and so here we are now the piece is almost done and I'm just gonna let the rest of the music play but I just want to let y'all know if you're still here from back in December, I'm so happy. Thank you for being supportive. And if not, then, well, what do you mean with if not? If you're not here, then obviously you're not here. So anyway, thank you to the 12 of you guys that subscribed. It means so much to me. Bye. Yeah, I'm racing to the bigger that is not your bitch. So why the fuck?